ini kali tidak ada yang mencari cinta. Kau depanku bertudung sutra senja. Jangan satukan hidupmu dengan hidupku. Kelam meniding batu, dihantam suara bertalu-talu. Di sebelahnya api dan abu. Sampai jauh, terasa hari akan jadi malam. Isi gelas sepenuhnya lantas kosongkan. Tusuk, tertarik, membusuk, membusuk, rabu. a little snippet about the video art anthology called Aku Hairil. It is a Miles Films project to commemorate National Poem Day, which was celebrated here in Indonesia on the April 28th. And to find out more about this wonderful project, here with us in the studio is the co-producer of this wonderful project, Riri Riza, right here. Thank good you so morning. much, Mas Riri, <laughs> so for joining us good here. Morning. So <laughs> good morning. Good to see you so. both. Tell us about this project, Aku mm. Hairil. Why were you moved to finally be involved in this project and why is this important for Indonesians and the global audience to see? Yes, uh, well, Hairil Anwar is one of our prominent mm. artists, if I cannot say one of the most important figure in literature in Indonesia, uh, worked in the 40s and during the revolution. And his work has inspired so many, you know, the development of literature, poetry in Indonesia. Many, many admit that uh, he's the sort of like reinvent Bahasa Indonesia. Mm. Mm. And uh, I think poetry has been very important uh, factor in, you know, in our, uh, my partner Mira Lesmana and uh, my works in film also. We we always look back at poetry, and you know, Hyril is a name that always you know came up. <laughs> you know, we have a little book always, or you know, a little scripture of uh, you know Aku or mm. uh, 1943 or yes. um, um, Pemberian Tahu in mm. in many of our you know works mm. uh, of films. Mm. And how did you select, like for example, what you've mentioned already yeah. earlier, some of the things that you mentioned, also yeah. kesabaran or patience, right? How did you select out of the many, many works of Kairil to include in this specific project? So basically, me and Mira, we, we, we just, you know, think of the most influential and most, you know, poetry that touch us a lot. You know, we mm. selected 20 first. Mm -hmm. And then when we start to thinking of this, we because for the past two years we've been working a lot with artists, with uh, visual artists. We work with some of these uh, uh, artists that work in the project also in our previous films. Mm -hmm. So uh, we selected 20 that we thought can represent number one high rail and represent the time now. You Aha, know, this is this is this is the time when things will change. You know, uh, this is the time where many people, where many people, you know, suffer because of the what yes. happened in the in the last two years. Mm. And of course, we also think of some artists that we want to work. You know, this is very very distinctive, talented, prominent visual artists that working with us. Mm. And we think, what is you know that can be cross path with their idea of work. Mm. So that's you know basically something that we we based on right so after 20 poet by poetry by um, uh, high rail and then we discuss with the seven artists and then we give them room to you know basically choose again yeah uh, out of the 20 poetry that we get and in the end you have seven seven, seven. And seven. this is one of them and I yeah. like when you said that you and your team and Mira Lesmana have chosen the seven that are relevant to now. Yeah. So this specific one, kasabaran or patience, what does it mean personally to you? Mm. Well, basically, kasabaran. You know, if you if you if you uh, remember, uh, 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 it's a it's always being reflective of being how you are 
most of the time you have to be alone you know you have to you have to return to your very soul when you want to make any decision yes you know all these noises that always you know happening around you yes. a temptation mm -hmm. you know uh, the temptation of progress fast yes <laughs> and very very fast work you have to return to your world mm -hmm. to your person personal choices and uh, conscience i mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. i really is a very good um, it's a you know like maybe like m many uh, poet is a very lonely person i think yes he true. made a very extreme uh, decision and choices during his time yes live very short life yes so i guess uh, you know it's very important to for this thing example for example is uh, kesabaran is you know about how you have to return and listen to your very deep and personal self every time you want to before you jump into something big that is correct well said you yeah. feel it very much with it. Oh, absolutely especially with that much. reading so um seven poems seven, seven contemporary art uh, artists and the seven actors can you tell us the process about putting all that together yeah of course the 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 you know the star the basic actually the the, the central of everything is the the poet the, right. the poem right mm. and then we make sure this poem is going to be something that represented in by that by the video artists mm -hmm. you know uh, they work in the, in the medium of uh, stop motion mm -hmm. uh, uh, a computer graphic imagery okay. uh, puppetry uh, performing arts uh, so they all have their you know virtue and then uh, they are the one who make decision of how the structure and the style of their work and then we started to think of who is the best person to read the poetry to respond to the imagery to the video arts to the to the style that uh, every artist um, uh, decide to go through uh, it's uh, stages and stages of meetings okay. you know uh, samples we send you know we basically we after they choose sort of what who they want to read the the poem in the work uh, we ask uh, we talk to the each of the performer each of the actors mo most most of them are you know m people who uh, uh, artists that perform in uh, theater and sure. especially films and uh, we ask them to send you know some guides the basic the response yeah basic response maybe just to their Voice note. Voice note. Uh, <laughs> the easiest. Yes, and then we have a progress of meetings, and and then there's an, one important figure also in between this whole stage of project is Bhaskara Putra, India. Mm -hmm. You know, he creates like uh, samples of sound that uh, we I even call it sound yes. design yes. Uh, rather than music. music right. You know, right. Because, uh, it's almost like. Uh, 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 initiates the rhythm, the the atmosphere, the ambience, feeling, right? yeah, the feeling yeah. in the in the project. So those are people who you know uh, uh, involved in the sort of like the creative development, yeah. uh, brainstorming of the project, and mainly mainly because we did this during you know late twenty one to the end of twenty two. Mm. Uh, basically, we do online oh, sessions yeah, most right. of the time, and then we met like a two sessions in studio mm -hmm. uh, with the artists and with the with the uh, performers, and um, it's a it's very smooth. I think yeah, yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> this is interesting. I, uh, the interesting part: some of them is actually admire Hyrel Anwar, yes. but some of them actually don't have a clue who is Hyrel Anwar. So that is, you know, something yeah. that we also, you know, in in our head when we started this project. You, if you ask ten young people about yeah. Hyrel Anwar nowadays, yeah. maybe seven of them knows them yeah. by you know recite their poetry in front of the class, yeah, right. part of the Bahasa of Indonesia, <laughs> Bahasa Indonesia uh, lesson, you know. Yes. But I think. The others don't know, don't have a clue, or yeah. and then so basically this is our reality, mm. and we hope with this 
project with this new approach with using this very contemporary medium. Yeah. You know, it's a seven minutes videos that can be accessible, I hope, in the future yes. in our, you know, YouTube yeah. or yes, very yes. democratic medium. And, you know, these young kids can relate again or touching base again with the history and with the, with the strength, with yes. the, with the uh, richness of our uh, uh, artwork. Yeah, culture. Yeah. That is true, and I guess it, this is a very natural um, step for you because you've been a filmmaker for several decades now, yeah. and 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 you also have this huge care of poem. It's true, Masriri, what you said. Mm. Even like when it comes to poetry, I was exposed mm. to poetry slam, or sometimes you know if I go abroad, there's poetry slam. But I always feel like I wish I know and understand better yeah. uh, this world and and. Why do you think it's important for young people nowadays to reconnect yeah. with their own nation's history? Because with the internet right now, they are exposed to mm. many, many, uh, many, many countries' influences, especially the Western influence. Which is, there's nothing wrong. We're part of it. But uh, poetry is kind of a lost art, isn't it? Yeah, it is a lost art. So why is it important for young people to, while they embrace other mm. cultures on the internet, but also to remember our own? Culture. I think basically it's almost like philosophy. Mm. I think you know um, to be able to. I mean, you know, we have so many creative young artists, mm. young you know performers now, filmmakers. Mm. Uh, 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 you know, um, in music, you know, in the fields of music, you know. But I think to be able to work in in a long, mm. you know term with the uh, with the long uh, uh, you know plan and aspiration mm. and I hope to be able to be global also mm. you know to involve in uh, so many um, uh, global opportunities in in the in the field of arts and culture I think you need to have like a roots like yes. a strong understanding about who you are mm. and don't don't forget that we you know we are very big country with the rich history and long history and we have one of uh, strongest identity which is Bahasa Indonesia mm. and I think that is something that you need to be able to you know to to control and to to master mm -mm. and poetry for ex in this context of uh, our conversation is something that you know can be a, like a strong weapon for you mm. you know mm -mm. can be can be like a soft weapon that will take you everywhere. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure you can, you can be good in English, yeah. you know, so you can, you can communicate with the world. You have, you know, this global contemporary sensibility. Yeah. But at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, history shows us that so many prominent artists, you know, for example, Hyrule, of course, you know his work of poetry mm. is has been translated in many many languages. Uh, languages and been studied by so many figures, important figures around the world. Pramudian Antatur, yes. Tar Lubis, yes. you know, all these names are um, influential mm. and have their own merit in the yes. international um, community. Yeah. So I think young people need. I believe they will have a long journey ahead mm -hmm. and they will be uh, inspired, I'm sure, you know, talking to Baskara during this project, talking to Troma Rama during this project uh, with uh, Iwan Effendi, who's very, who, who, all of them are very talented. <laughs> but when we started to, you know, recite high rails again, it's amazing, you know, how this, they are they are moved by something new, yes. and they are amazed by how in 1946 yes. a young person of 23, 24 years old can compose mm. this kind of you know yeah. uh, poetry. Yeah. 
that is very so contextual and yeah. powerful until mm. now. Yeah, very universal as well. Well, now obviously, yeah. as you yeah. can see. Yeah. So yeah. real quick, Master Vivi, when when can this be viewed by the general public? You've already had big yeah. viewing sessions. We we have an exhibition uh, in a different medium of uh, this video arts, which ah, is like mm -hmm. a four channel. Uh, a video installation happening now in Artina Sarina, which okay. is on the yes. sixth floor, oh, nice. down the street. <laughs> floor, yeah. sixth floor of the Sarina uh, shopping area. Right, yeah. a very amazing uh, space for for exhibition. And then started from the 28th of April, we can see it in Indonesiana TV, mm -hmm. channel 200 if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And then every week we have, so the first on the 28th of April is the th first third episode and then this coming Friday, the, uh, another cool. two episodes, the two? and then on the 12th of uh, May will be the last two episodes. And then okay. after that, you, I guess you can watch it also on, on their web, website as, mm -hmm. uh, right. as a library. Yeah, and also teachers can actually use it as oh, a medium yeah. to teach mm -hmm. students nowadays to make poem or poetry relevant because yeah. it is very important. We have we have Christine Hakim, we have yeah. Reza Rahadian, mm. Nicola Saputra, Lukman Sardi, Happy Salma, among others who read the, this poetry. Yes. So beautiful. Incredible star-studded cast, know. by the way. You're going to be what super a, strong. What a lineup. You're going to feel and, a and lot. And also, I think the, the, the quality of the recording and the yeah. sound design is also... I'm very proud. <laughs> they've, they're done, they've done a very good job. Congratulations. And, and also thank you for your contribution to the education of Indonesia. Mm, thank you. <laughs> very little. Thank you for being here as well. Congratulations on yes. the project. Enjoy it very much. All right. Uh, we're going to take another short break here on the program, but please don't go anywhere. In case you joined us late, we will recap some of our earlier stories as well as share some feature stories as well for, for you. And in the meantime, if you haven't already done so, please make sure you're following us on all our social media platforms. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at CTODAY News. We'll be right back.